I'm reviewing NBA 2K14 for the Xbox 360, PS3, and the PC. I will tell you right now that this version, it stars LeBron James. They have a LeBron mode in this where you can take him, continue to play with him on the Heat, and make a huge dynasty, continue to rack up the rings, or you can opt out of your Heat contract and join whatever team you want. So if you want to bring him back home to Ohio and Cleveland, have him playing with Kyrie Irving, that whole game mode gives you a cool what if scenario. But I will say this, it's no way, shape, or form going to replace the Legends games that they had in past titles. And no way is it going to surpass the Jordan Challenge. That is still top tier. And as far as modes go, that's about it. Because my career mode has pretty much been copied and pasted. The same can be said about the association. Same can be said about the online, but at least on the online they brought back Cruise. Cruise will not be available now on the Xbox One version and the PS4 version, but they brought back the Cruise so you can design your own jersey, have a locker room with your boys. Servers have been running pretty well, I will say that, so for right now looking pretty good. You know, you still use the coins, so if you remember how the coins worked last year, it's exactly the same thing. And that's the deal, a lot of this game is exactly the same thing. Even when you're in the online lobby, it's like they copied and pasted the online lobby. I mean, can you at least do presentational changes? Longtime 2K fans, I feel, are going to be most certainly disappointed because of that fact. But one thing they definitely did, they made it way easier to block shots. They actually made it, I don't know, realistic because it was so difficult to block shots, block dunks. Now it's super realistic and that makes a world of difference. So now those of you who are good at playing defense, you're not getting insulted now by the BS. You can actually do what you were trying to do this whole time. The gameplay has been maximized. I feel like this, I said last year I felt it was kind of maxed out, but this year is at its apex. As far as these systems go, I think it is at its apex of the gameplay. The way you shoot the ball, the movements, the new stick controls. They take a little bit getting used to if you've been playing, you know, 2K13 for a while. But once you get used to it, you'll find out it's actually better. And it flows really good. Strangely enough, they took away the Dream Team. They have the EuroLeague teams. So there's a bunch of EuroLeague teams on here. You can't play them against Team USA for whatever reason. So that's idiotic. Maybe they got some type of DLC planned. I'm sure they do. I'm just not a fan of them. They already have done so much copy and pasting. Now they're taking away stuff that made it great. So there's no Legends games. No Dream Team. Season mode copy and pasted. But I will say that, that core gameplay is so, so good. I mean, you will just, you'll be in shock of how smooth it is. It is just, you won't appreciate that until you get your hands on it. And at the end of the day, core gameplay is what it's all about. I would love to give us a higher score. These guys have been known up until now to go 100% hard on every single basketball game. I could feel that effort seeping through. I can't feel it this time. This was clearly a transitional period between current gen and next gen. Everybody knew that, but we were still expecting a grade A effort. And it seems like they knew what we knew, but they didn't give a damn. So I'm still going to give this a good score, but I am disappointed. NBA 2K14 gets a four. Out of five.